alleged probable causes or however someone wants to spin it. That well, that's also how they got Huawei banned from the United mm. States. Because I remember, you know, I'm a bit of a phone nerd. And uh, back in the day, Huawei had the best phones. Mm. They, their phones were like way more advanced than some of the American Android really? phones that were coming out. Yeah, okay. man. They had incredible cameras and like big battery life and like crazy zoom possibilities. And I was looking to get this new Huawei phone. Sure. And then Huawei got banned from the United States. And I was like, what? It goes back to anything that's banned, man. It makes you really start questioning. It does, but when they kind of all agree, there was very little push pushback that there was real security problems with mm. these phones, and not just phones, but network devices, uh, routers, um, d different different um, components that had third party entrance. Mm. So it was they had the capability of accessing information that's being transferred back and forth on a network through these routers. And then oh. I think people are like, hey, why is that in there? Yeah. And then they realize, oh, the Chinese government is in complete cahoots with Huawei. <laughs> yeah. Like if you own a company like Huawei, you're down with the government. You have to be. That's how you stay in business. Right. You, you can't be some rebel out there operating on your own, making yeah. billions of dollars, creating, you know.